just quote the Machava Chelegim. We have a year today Chelegim. Anyway, last week we spoke about one of the dangerous things is woman going to Levaya. So everyone was up in arms here last week. I don't know if that's the right English expression. Uh, no. Um, and I explained that the Shulchanuruch and Helchis Avelis quotes a Zoyer. The Zoyer says it is the most dangerous thing for a woman to go to the, uh, uh, to the cemetery when there's a Levaya. And uh, it's not only dangerous for her, it's dangerous for the city. And everyone said, uh, Chabad did not know that, but I don't know, I just said in Shechan it's very clear, and I grew up this way, and Yishlam, I asked a bunch of Shlam, I looked up in other Svarim, they all quoted them, the, the, no one says, I, when I came here, I found it was L.A. Minig, you saying Berzim Minig. Let me just quote you the Machaber. In Hilchas Avelis, I'll say it by Peh. If you want to look it up, it's Shin in Tess, which makes it 359. It is a minute earlier, then it goes against Shulchan. No, no, it's just, just many Menhagim became because of Amratzis, meaning people didn't know. You know, that's very important. Yeah, it's not a medic. Just things become, many things become, become because there was no one to stop them and to do it, you know, the many, like, I always give the simple motion. Everyone says there's a mini to go on a hot mic for Shabbos. Oh. <laughs> there's not such a mini. So, uh, to go on the hot mic for Shabbos. Oh. Now, I want to explain this. It, there is no such a thing. In HaShulchan Aruch, it says it's Asa. Nothing to talk about. But... In Europe, so when I, when I started learning Hilch Shabbos many years ago, well, and I was uh, young, uh, about 21 years old, 22 years old, and everyone says, what do you mean? The Shekhanu says, nah, well, the old and homely did it. So I asked the old people. They, there was no such a thing having a hot mikvah in the, in the old home. They didn't have heating systems to make it what we have. It just didn't exist. So what did they do in Europe? They used to cover the mikvah, make the boiling hot water into the mikvah, cover the board, in the morning, we got up, we went to the mikvah, it wasn't freezing cold. <laughs> That's what it was. A hat, they couldn't, they, there was no way to have, keep it hot. So if you ask people, they, that minig is, in Yiddish there's an expression, it became like subtly, and it's hard to change people. Told me can't go in our mikvah, I never let it be hot, us in my shul. But I was saying, this halacha too, it says very clearly, I just want to read it. Um, he says, the Machaba says, Yesh lemnoya melutzenushin beisekvudis achameti. You should hold back women from going to the, uh, to the beisekvudis after the meta, after the, they say, the burial. The burial. At the funeral. They should not go. And the Shach adds, just Shach brings the Zoyer, he says, achameti shim oisinkein garmen ru la'olam chashri sholam. Going to be a terrible thing for the world. But the Zoe says it's terrible. Now, some want to say, I, I saw, that it's only if you go to the Beisa Kvaris, if you follow the, the Mitta, that means wow. the, the coffin. But if you go ahead, you sneak in before, and the, some other. But, uh, you know, you're playing with fire. You know, and, 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 you know I, I'm not saying how look at this. But I want to tell you, I tell this to women, and I know a lot of women don't listen, but according to the Baal Mikabulam, a woman should never go to the base Sakvaris. Never. Mm. Ever. Ever. Yeah, I don't have to visit. Who says the visit, he wants to be visited, I know. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying, according to the Baal Mikabulam, it's extremely dangerous. It's very, very dangerous, and it's the best not to... Uh, not to do it, you know. Then okay, this is why we last week I, I just wanted to explain this. 
So, so what about these people who go, who go, who go to Sadiqim? Sadiqim, Kibbutz Sadiqim says in the Zoya. The Zoya says clearly Kibbutz Sadiqim, you should go. So how's that different than going to a cemetery? Yeah, I mean, the, the, going, the going to the cave of a tzaddik, it says, but the going just, if, if we're talking about women. A no, man. We're talking about women going to study. I don't know. That's a good question. Did they say that Sadiqim did not like this? Yeah, but, but they, have to go to the, they have to go into the cemetery to get to the cave of a tzaddik. So I, you know, this is, you know, yeah, it's, I, I, I'm just saying, I've been asked all the time about women, and I always tell them that it's best not to go. Can't say it's aloha. It's interesting, the Vilna Guan, in his famous letter to his children, writes to his wife and daughters, never go to the cemetery. Never, never. I mean, he's, I don't know if you know what, the Vilna Gom was supposed to go to Etz And on this, and before he left, he wrote a famous letter, it's called the Geres Agru. And in that Geres Agru, he writes to his wife and daughters, never, ever, ever go to the Beis Oilam. Now, that's not just the Gru, the Balam Kibulam, the Chesidim, or this is just, uh, now the, the Rizal says, in, in short, that it's terrible for women to go to the Beis Oilam. You know, I know a woman not going to listen, but I did mine. <laughs> it's not Aloha. But that's, uh, it's good to know. Well, it's not halacha. It's not halacha. That's a good one. It, you know, it hits home much better if you tell the woman, it's not halacha, but it's dangerous. No, no, it's halacha, not to go after the bed. That, that says in Shulchan Aruch, to follow, doesn't bring it down. But because he didn't, you know, maybe he didn't, he didn't write, maybe we lost up that part. On, uh, okay, so we up to test. What were we up to? Yeah, we, we're talking about Baltashchis. That a person should never break things in anger, never rip things in anger. And if you, yeah. So, so the Rav says the test well. B'med vurim amirim, k'she oise derech hashchosa. When a person does it, derech hashchosa means in a you know destructful way. The kilkel avol amnas the sakin. If your intention is to make a ticken with it, meet the lekalkel im efsha the sakin el the kilkezer. If you, there's another way, if there is no other way, of course you're allowed to destroy. It's kegon, a very important halacha. Ilan machel, a tree that bears food. Shemachish is a karka. Imazig and lunis achelam atoyvem emeni. Let's say you have too many trees and you want to just pull out a fruit tree because it's ruining the other trees. So you're allowed to destroy the tree because it ruins the other trees. This time, man. If you need a place to build there, now, you know, this question I'm asked all the time. And it's very interesting it's because the people want to add to the backyard. They have a tree, a fruit tree over there. Can I add a room? I'm rebuilding the house and there's a fruit tree. So the, the, the Rav says, Based on the Gemara, really, it's not this bad. Machabin Cheshimishpet brings this. If you are uh, want to build a room and there's a tree there, you're allowed to remove the tree. He says, "Becheni mitzur chalim koyim eliv nishoyim to build oishem maple ala chaloyim." The tree is uh, darkening your window. The fruit tree grew up and mita lekatzitz. You're allowed to cut it off. Now I want to tell you something—a very interesting thing. You have to bear fruit for it before you. Even though it's bearing fruit, if it doesn't bear fruit, there's not a problem. Oh, it's never bore fruit. Yeah, no, if, no, no, no. If it's a tree that something dries out, doesn't bear fruit anymore, there's not a problem. I'm talking about a tree that's bearing fruit or will bear fruit. So I want to explain. There's a famous Gemara in the Sechdes Boba Basra. I remember the name. I forgot. I think it out of Adar Barahav. I forgot. Cut off a cut a tree, and his child, one of his children died and were young. Whenever, it, you know, it's amazing. Whenever things are hocus pocus, then everyone gets nervous. I want to say a cute story. I one time got a phone call from a from a, a Swardi. He lives deep in the valley. He says he's going to Etzel Sol for three months in the summer. He's going to be back, and they want Israelis want to rent the house just for the weekend. He says take everything out because we come, we gamble the weekend, and we do uh, all the nice things. And he says nine thousand dollars a month. They're willing to pay him. At first, he was hemming and hawing ten thousand dollars. Imagine, but they're gonna party there. They're willing to pay him. He says it's a lot of money. It's thirty thousand dollars cash. 
you know. So I asked him, what's the question? You know, I, I asked, what's the problem? He says, because they're gonna gamble there. Probably also do, do drugs. So I said, you know, gambling, I mean, if they don't take yours, they're gonna find another one. That's not a question. Just as a little bit more convenient, closer where the Israelis live. So I said to him, you know, what should I tell you? You know, I don't, uh, I don't think it's a good idea. You know, it's, uh, you know, it's a question. He becomes very quiet. He says to me, Rabbi, I don't know anything. I want to know one thing. After they leave, it'll be a ruach tum at the house, yes or no? <laughs> Say one thing. No. So I said, uh, obviously, yes. The rabbi, no deal. And it, you know, he said, well, you know, that's, he was very honest. Uh, he said, you know, he doesn't know well, if ever I tried to explain to him, it's not kedai to do it. He says, there's a ruach tum. I says, you know, you know. He admitted to me it's more than gambling, but you know. But the bottom line is, and, and when it comes to these things, people get much more frightened. The Gemara does say that if you cut a tree, roof is very dangerous. And, and I see he brings down the Geras of the Rebbe. I looked up the Lubavitch Rebbe has an Geras, and it's very interesting. He quotes that the Rav says you're allowed to cut off a tree, but then he quotes the Chassam Soifer says it's very dangerous and Gidah Chosid, and the Shoyal asks the Rebbe that he passed in there, he wants that you're allowed to. First of all, he writes in the Sword the very mekel. I remember when Bnei Barak, between Bnei Barak and Ramat Gam, used to be a big orchard of uh, orchard trees, uh, Orange. oranges, right. And all of a sudden, a few years that I come, it's all connected. The whole orange, and that's just sort of where he make them. So, but the, he says to him, but the Shoyal asked him that unfortunately he gave up sack and it wasn't so good. Something happened. So he says, oh, you should be Mahmer, even though the Rav says it's okay. Some service says in the Tshuva to be Mahmer, and he quotes another man, you should be Mahmer. The mini Goylem is that you sell the tree, sell it to the guy. You tell the, you know, usually you get the gardener, you sell it to the gardener, listen, I want you, you know, it's, you have to get a gardener who understands, uh, sp you have to either speak to them Spanish or uh, communicate with them. Because one time I, I saw a guy doing it, and the, the gardener didn't know, just, okay. I don't understand. You need a dollar, you take a dollar, you don't know. So, but, it, it, but you could sell the tree, and the tree doesn't belong to you anymore, it belongs to the guy, and you tell him, get rid of the tree, take your tree home to your own place. That's what the meaning is. Yes. Only fruit trees. Only tree that bear fruit. Strong and only tree. No, no, fruit. And and only fruit that you eat. Now people have told me have the someone told me has a fruit tree in it, it's not edible. Has to be fruit that's edible. And and we are machmer. The bottom line is we're machmer. Even though uh, I see it in the Lubavitch Rebbe, as it, but that was interesting because the, the Rav says doesn't bring anything, doesn't bring the Bida Chos, it says nothing, you can do it. And the Lubavitch Rebbe writes to the Shoyel, you should be Mahmer, even if it's so you write me the Mekel, especially for you, that since something happened, already once gave a psak to someone. Anyways, so it's a, uh, uh, he says another thing about it, Dom of Yikurim, if the price is very expensive, live in Yosem al Echel. It's, you know, it's uh, expensive uh, and to, to binion. That means a tree, whatever tree it was, they used to use the bark to build. It's, the wood is very expensive, more than the fruit. Then you also, then you're allowed to. It doesn't even go to tree. You're not allowed to destroy only if you are planning to build or, or says you're allowed to take apart things which is dangerous. You know, you have a house that's falling apart you should take it apart. You know what I mean? If you know no one's gonna, you know, you have to. Zuk de Rav Atom. Ain't so rechloime, ime kalkaloi amanas lasakin gifoi. If he is mekalkal because his body needs it. Kegon, she soy lev kisav shirchal es chamon behem. This is an interesting Gemara. Gemara in Shabbos. A guy gave blood and he became very, very cold and he had no wood. It's hard for us to imagine. What do you mean? He called you. put on the steam. And once upon a time, that didn't exist. So he took a chair and he took it apart and used it for firewood. So that's what he says because you allowed, even though you're attached to this, you took a good chair and you used it for firewood. But if you're doing it, your body needs it. Your body is more important. That's what he's saying. He has no wood. He saw the bagel has his down by Eifer. If you can learn Daf Yomi, you're going to know that you can make Kisi Adam with ashes. 
and he wants the shecht, and he has no uh, uh, effort to make uh, kisya adam. So you're allowed to use ashes to make kisya adam. He says, How in the world can you not have dirt? He says, You go on, on, a, on a ship, and there's no dirt, and you have a, you know, you want to check the chicken. So you got to burn something. So you're allowed to burn your shirt to Makayim Kisa Adam. That's what he's saying. So, okay. Then he says, Kol Ilan Srak. An empty tree, Mitele Kotzit. So you're allowed to cut an empty tree. A fella ain't to the Chloe Klau. There's no dim baltashkas on a tree that doesn't bear fruit. This is very common. The trees, you know, dry up. You know, fruit trees don't bear fruit too long. You know, just a few years, and then totally dries up. So a tree that dried up and doesn't bear fruit, you're allowed to cut off. He says. This is simple. The Ilan Zayas. It's, this is based on a Mishnah. In the Zayis, she oys the roiva kov zaysim. He says, you know, you know, today, today, my question always is: people have trees in their backyard, then ask them. I live next to a, a neighbor, who had an avocado tree. He never took down the avocado. It was the most delicious avocado. So I asked him, could I take it? First, he was hemming and hawing. I don't know. I remember. It was a yid, an older couple. He says it's falling into my. Uh, um, and you're not taking it anyways. But kids, uh, I don't know why. I have no idea. But uh, he didn't. He didn't. No one went, went to the backyard and to pick it. Today, people will go to the market, buy avocado, but it'll be lazy to go to the backyard and pick it. Uh, I've seen this. Honestly, I've seen this. I don't. I don't know what it is. Um, so the bottom line is that's a question that I have. But uh, la maisa, la maisa, la maisa. I don't think it is a hatter if it's edible. Just because you're lazy to go back out, you shouldn't destroy the tree. So the ill desires she oys roiva comes aesum, an olive tree that gives off a roiva comes aesum, the dekel, that's a uh, uh, palm tree, or is a cap to mura, a certain measure amount of dates, usa the katsasom, gam yeshkun mitzitsa ilamachal, it's dangerous, and that should be my only what I explained before. So I must say, in the chrenim are very, very machmer, cutting a fruit tree, so you really have to be careful. So what is the question, Dava? Would that be a reason for, would that be a hazard to cut down? Because it's a good answer. Is that what you're going to do? Huh? Is that what you're going to do? I don't understand why the, why, why the Shukmar cut half of this last section. Why, why are we adding in the, the, the olive tree and the nature? That's a Mishnah. All of this. This is a Mishnah. When the Mishnah because gives this measurements. Is it this measurement that's... Only by olive, olive and only by dates. But if an apple tree was giving up this amount of... Uh, apple tree is la- see olives is very ex- very see we don't appreciate olives you know we say krishma uh, it's uh, it's uh, is oil see we have oil you know we have every type of an oil and you know when no one eats so much uh, uh, you know oil mainly was necessary was olive oil everything was olive oil so we made it for that we don't you know we don't appreciate it so by olive oil they were more machmer you know, that's even a little bit was worth today. Who cares about that? I, I know in my neighbor, a guy has an olive, an olive tree, used to dry it up already. He never, we never bothered. You know, that's... So this is a very little amount. It's a very little amount, and so with the dates too. And, and, and we have to remember, in, in Etz Yisrael, in those days, if you wanted to treat your child, it was not one of these fancy candies that I cannot pronounce. No. It was a date. <laughs> that was the treat. It wasn't the... Uh, all these sweeties. Okay. Uh, the next simon, uh, you make kapis kif yid zayin? Kif te zayin. Oh, kif te zayin is what we just learned. Now, I'll say about pe. You know, kif yid zayin? Okay. Kif yid zayin. No. 
So anyway, let me explain. There's a, there's a, a little confusion about this simon. It's a very, very, very homely simon, and especially people in business. And there's a misunderstanding about the salacha. You know, chazer is mitter b'hanua. That means, mitter b'hanua, you know what it means. I'm allowed to enjoy, you know, I'm not allowed to eat it, but if I want to sell it, but not, you know, there's nothing wrong sending a piece of chazer. There's certain thing, chumitz b'pesach is osa b'hanua. Musa b'cholov is osa b'hanua. You can't derive any benefit. Orla so if you have a if you have a pepperoni p- pizza somehow it got to you you can't give it to the shiksa it's usabanu you know you, 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 you know but all the osas usabanu but but yeah now that's that's yeah. about yeah no yeah but not, well, let's focus just pig itself meat and availus chazer all these things is not usabanu that means if somehow in a marshal, if a guy has a cow and died, or a guy, you know, most a guy shechs a cow turns out to be trefer. You're allowed to sell it. Nothing. Chazal came, and I'll explain soon. It's a huge machlek zereshonim. Chazal said you're not allowed to go into business selling food. That's awesome. No, no, not exclusive. I'll tell you a cute story. Bear of Ice Oliver Shula about 25 years ago. He and a few of the rich people in my neighborhood decided they wanted to open a huge store that has everything, like uh, like a Costco, you know, one of these huge, wanted to open a neighborhood. And they did, got someone to research it for them, and it looked very good. But the problem was, you ha- in order to have the going come in, you must sell the Vailus of Trefus, and you must sell fish, non kosher fish, you know, I forgot how it's called these. Uh, all these seafood, which is, uh, and they were debating as to do it. They went to it's a to ask the rabbanim. So it's clear. I'll soon get to it in Shulchan Aruch. That even though I, I have no intentions to sell meat, my intentions to have this huge, you know, store that sells baka miko kei. But I also need. If I'm not going to have meat, people are not going to come in. Ralph's has a small section of meat. It's not the, the Ralph's is not Ralph's because of the meat. You know, all these huge stores. Have a big can. You cannot go into business, even have a store this way, if, uh, 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 if, if you have to sell meat. No, no, that's something else. Chalib is a special pussy because the Bukhava brings down. But let's just focus, I'm just giving a marshal. I'm going to just give an example. You're not, you're not, what? You don't have an orphan pig. If you saw one, if a goy came to you, goy comes to you and wants to pay his choy, it's a solution like a mother, and he gave you a pig. You know, you can go and sell the pig. But you cannot, you see, I want to explain to you, pig is a special halacha. A pig is uder mishemegadl kelev. You know, a pig to have a, a pen, a pig pen, it's called, I don't know what it's called. To raise pigs is a special curse. That's based on the famous Gemara. The Gemara says there was a fighting, if you learn Zorach and Dafyomi, they were fighting based on Hashemunui. And, and every day, the Gemara said, I'll quickly say the story. Every day, they, 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 they let, drop money in a basket and they put a sheep into the basket and they brought it up. One time, there was a guy in Uchach Mishun who tried to tell them, You're never going to conquer Yerushalayim. There's two brothers fighting. The two brothers from Ashmanoi, you never get conquered to Shalim if you they bring the Karm to it. So the next day they put in a chazer. And the chazer, uh, as they were lifting the chazer, the chazer sort of jumped out of the basket and held on to the walls of Yerushalayim. And the Gemara says the entire Yerushalayim had an enormous earthquake. So the Gemara says, for 400 parser, Arbu Arbasa, the whole edge is so shook. And they said because of the Chazer, and for that time they gave a curse. Order, we should megadl chazerim. You're not allowed to be megadl chazerim at any place. We also can't learn Roman. Can't. Because the same thing at the same time, you just can't speak. Yeah, I can't speak. Yeah, well, we are. We are machmer. You know, they disappear. It's not the wisdom. It's the language. The the it was the language they used to speak amongst themselves. That's the Rashi learns. So, anyway, no, 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 no. I don't want to go into that. That's a separate issue. So, the kids are, but we're talking about, no, we're talking about meat. We're talking about strictly meat now. Can you sell meat? 
So you can't sell meat. If I have meat, Lemoshel, all our butcher shops, you know, yeah. the Bashkin, any other thing, let me just finish like Lemoshel. You know, only kosher is sometimes less than 10%, sometimes 15%, 80% is not kosher. Here, in uh, one of the amazing things in America, it's has serches, too many serches. 80% doesn't go for kosher. But he's not in the, first of all, it's only chumras, but even the, without that, his business is kosher. I'm in a shech, and it doesn't come kosher, I sell it to a trade. There's nothing wrong with that. But you can't open a business to sell chazayim. You'll have a new of a guy pay, pays you with a chazer, with a pig, you know, to, to run a business. That's why one of the big problems is nursing homes and old age homes. People think that the Shabbos is a problem. Always tell people, Shabbos is not the problem. Shabbos is a problem. That's easier. Shabbos, I'm going to tell you an interesting thing. Shabbos is the problem. It's only a Rabbanum bigger problem. Because Amir al is Shulis. Not Chashun Yilat Yubim Mezalzal. You have to take care of it. Most Rishonim hold to do business with something not kosher is an Issa Daraisa. So if you open a shop, that sells Issa, that's what some Sophie says in the Chuvat, and he says the Robinion, the Robinion of the Rishonim learn, it's an Issa that I saw. So you can, if you want to, so the, a nursing home has a problem, not at Shabbos, people always think Shabbos, it's a problem because you don't, most of the nursing, they don't give kosher. Doesn't make a difference. It, uh, everyone is because it, uh, you, it's true, it's secondary, but you, it's like the store. Uh, the, the meat in the, in the sh- big store that you all open is also secondary. It's not the most important thing, but you need people to come. That's where you sell the meat. It's an Issa the Rice, as Sofi says. And, in, and, and the same thing with the, the, the nursing home. You could put in kosher meat, but it's too expensive kosher. So you put in non kosher meat. There's one guy in my neighborhood many years ago when his son took over the business. So he figured he's not going to be Soymir Khan He was a Ben Toyra. He is going to. He's going to be Mahmer. So he decided to buy meat, buy meat which really is rejected, which is only a Khumra. You know, it was a disaster. You know, like a, it turned out a disaster. You can't run, you can't, you can't run it this way. But I'll keep on him. The, 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 now I want to explain. It's a big Machalik because I want to say how the Rishonim learned it. So, uh, again, Rav Rishonim all the Nisad Raisa. And the Rishonim all the Nisad Raisa say, the reason why the Torah answered it, normally we never say reasons in the Torah, but here, this, uh, I'll explain why do we say reason. The reason the Torah answered, maybe you're going to come eat from it. So that's how it's explained, because there's really two psukim. One psukim says that the Isser is, oh, yeah, hey, one psukim must be allowed to. So the Rishonim say, the Torah gave it over to the Chachamim, and they explain it. That you're not allowed to make business with it because you might come to eat it. It's something that you don't eat. You're not going to come eating. It's not a problem. You're allowed to have, you're allowed to raise dogs. You're allowed to, you know, here in America, no one eats dogs. And you're allowed to raise, uh, you know, cats. And you're allowed to have birds. And you're allowed to have, uh, you know, no one eats mice, whatever, whatever, whatever. It's only over horses, you know, but uh, you cannot ha- raise. P- the only thing people that go and eat a lot is pig. I mean, they don't eat any other things. So, so pigs not for eating? Well, but if, if that's a, no pigs, you can't raise. Period. But uh, if you have pigs, it means meat. You bought the pig meat. Well, if it's not, it's made to eat. But now there's another machlekes. There was a machlekes. If you allow to, the choices bring to big mach- It's a huge machlekes. If I buy something which I'm not planning to eat. In the Zman Abal Atosis, they used to use the fat of a chazer to make the leather better. I don't know why, somehow. Fat of a chazer, somehow is good for the, for the leather. And Toysis held, since you're not having it doing business to eat, and the Goymos not buying you to eat, they're buying it for leather enhancement, whatever, so the toys is held as mitter. The shach was held, others held. But the toys is held, it's okay. See, it has to do, the, the Shachan says, in this place, why, you know, p- most people eat it. See, we, we, uh, uh, the truth, it's so not negate. They used to eat everything. The goyim used to eat, uh, shrutam, today, I don't eat everything. The only thing I once looked in a store, in Ralph's, they eat, um, besides fish, they, uh, from the, they eat chazer, and I noticed, what is the name of a bird, a wild bird? Uh, 
Vasiliano, a ostrich. Big sign, Raus, ostrich meat. If you ever pay attention, I don't know, you, know, you see ostrich meat. Ostrich, a Vasiliano, is, a, is, a, is an odd kosher thing. But, but uh, I don't know, the goyim are not busy, you know. Uh, and where, are, you, are you allowed to buy stock in McDonald's? Well, the reason you're allowed to buy stock in McDonald's, the stock you're going to buy is, uh, is the ownership. Your ownership is who knows less, less than who knows what. But if you buy a large amount of it, then it's a problem. Because that's why we hold it's not a problem of Pesach neither. Why it's not a problem of Pesach? Most Pesach can help. And the Moshe also tshuva because you have no... It's not bought because I want to be owner in the food. It's like you're, it's, it's you're gambling. You think the food is going to go up now, whatever. Okay. Now, I'm going to just say outside to see it inside. It's only something that's awesome and a toyota, but cheese, you know, to go into business, even though it's a, a gvinus akim. It's only food that's osa and a toyota. But if it's food, which is only with drabanam, so you're allowed to have a grocery store and sell non kosher cheese, <clears throat> and, not, and, and even chol of stam. And even if your old chol of stam is who knows what, you know, that doesn't mean, uh, or you don't live in America. Yet, uh, and the Issa the Rabbanam, it does not apply. What about trade wine? What did you say? Trade wine. Trade wine is a separate problem, wine, because wine, in Yayne, so it's Usa the Rabbanam, it's Usa Banua. So it's a whole different. And, uh, you know, I know somebody, let me just answer this question once. You know, wine, I know that a lot of Jewish people deal with non kosher wine. I've been told this more than once. Not just liquor stores. I mean, there's a guy, a, a, per, a, a French guy who imports, uh, who asked me a few years ago, and he imports, became a beer, imports French wine to, 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 to Cologne, to him. So the, the truth is wine, let me just briefly explain wine. You know, wine is usse banua. But let me explain. Let me, let me start uh, uh, from the beginning. You know, the Pirke der Blazer says that Pinchas after the story of Zim ben Suli, made the Xayra of Yaina Shal Akim. We don't want you to drink wine with the Goyim. Look what happens when you drink wine with the Goyim. This is where the story of uh, the Shiks has happened. Now, the Rishonim say that Chazal came and added that not only should not be also to drink, it's also Banuah, because also the Goyim used to pour the wine for Avay Dezorah. Let me, let me tell you the words of Arashba. The Arashba says like this. The Arashba says, in his times, the people would sell, go into business, sell wine. So the Arashba says like this. Bishloim, I, I live in Barcelona. Interesting. He says, I live now. I once looked it up. It was at, Arashba was on the run for a little while. So I live in Barcelona, and that is Muslim. So he lived before the... the, the it's Muslim, and they're in worship of the Zoda. So the wine, you're, only allowed, allow, you're not allowed to drink, but the uh, so we sell. But the Balatoises who live in France and in Germany, which are Christians, so why are they mezalzel to let people sell the wine? That's the, the, the Kasha the Rajbe says. So the, 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 I always tell people there's a total misinformation. They think that Christianity is not a Vedizoda. Christianity is Kiloi a Vedizoda. They worship Yashka. That's a Vedizoda. Toysi says that it's a Vedizoda. Nothing to talk about. Christianity, they worship, they believe there's a, there's a creator, but they believe there's a partner there. I don't know what they believe, but they believe in Yashka. And they, 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 they daven to him, they worship him. That's a Vedizoda. And, and, and the, the, the first Toysi in Sechtas Vodo asked the famous question. It says in the Mishnah, you're not allowed to do business by Yom Edom and their day of holiday. So Toysi says to Kasha, how do we make business with them Sunday? So Toysi says, how's the whole arichas, why we do? What's the question? They don't worship Abay Dezuras. Christianity is Abay Dezuras, nothing to talk about. Uh, it's another whole thing where the mistake comes from. But uh, I'm just saying, so Toysi... Is there anybody that disagrees with that? No, you can't disagree with the Toysi. Like no. <laughs> no. I do know, I know in Drush they quote us, uh, you know, they're not Mitzvah the Shittif, that's something else. No, no. The Rambam, the Rambam, I want to tell you a cute story. I want to tell you a cute story. The Rambam, when I learned Hilchas Yai Nesir, we didn't have the shops of Frank Rambam. And so on, I was learning in the Koyal, Litvish Koyal, I came to LA then, and, 
And I look up at Rambam, and the words don't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Someone happened to donate then a Rambam, a 300-year-old Rambam. And, you know, we were not collectors. We thought, you know, it's good later. And uh, then I, I heard it disappeared one day, you know, yeah. quaintly disappeared. But the Rambam, I looked it up in the Rambam. It's a very, very old Rambam. It was printed over 300 years ago then. And the Rambam, and there it says very clearly, the Rambam says like this, if the wine is touched by Christians, Usa Barnua, and the Bnei Esav, Aoivda Vaidazura, Bnei Edoim, Bnei Esav, Aoivda, Rambam means Christianity, and by the Islam, the Rambam says clearly, Islam is not a Vaidazura. If they touch it, it's, you're, allowed, you're not allowed to drink it, but you're allowed to sell it. So the, the tenets, why the, the, Ashken, the people uh, do sell wine that the Christians made, is because they claim they stopped pouring wine for Vedas Zora. That, that whole thing stopped totally. They drink the blood. You know, I once asked the Galach, I don't know, some of you maybe know about it. You know, they drink wine and then they drink his blood. Are you familiar with it? Yeah. No, no, not pouring, they're drinking it. No, no, they drink it. No, no, but they drink it. No, no, they're, they're, uh, where did it? In the Far East? Yeah. Oh. But the, and they drink the Siyashka's blood. Yeah, that's what it is. But has a lot of blood. Yeah. But they're not pouring it in front of Yeah, not pouring it in front of Yeah, but they don't use the wine. It's not, they don't, they're not manas of the wine. They drink it and they symbolically say, I drank his blood. I don't know what it means. Yeah, but that's, yeah, yeah, but it's not pouring the wine for Vedas Zora. They drink it, they eat something, they eat also bread, and they eat, it's like, a, it's takrivis of Vedas Zora, it's not the INS. Anyway, the bottom line is that the Rebbe says not to do it. So I'm always surprised the Svardim are very mekel. The Ramu says you can be mekel. Yes, the Ramu says it's a Shasat Chag, and you have a Panasa, you could sell wine. I tell people all the time if they get in, when people get in the, in the holiday season, the Katzmach season, they get gifts. Very many people who are in the business and the nursing homes, so they all get gifts and wines all the time, and not just cheap ones, expensive wines. Ashkenazi can give it away. Is, no, even Ashkenazi can give it away because once you have it, you don't have to throw it out. You shouldn't go into business, but once you have it, you don't have to pour it out. Give it away, right give it, you know, because of the head. You're not going into business, but you want to give a, a boy a nice bottle. You should not, like at Chile, don't give him non kosher wine. Do not do that. Don't buy. Don't buy. Give and give, give uh, non-kosher. I can't say it's also, but the most achreinim say to avoid it, not to do it. A cross I can sell. A cross you could sell. A cross is not a way See, a cross is not a way to It's It's lahav de la mugim duvet. The cross symbolizes, you know, the, the, the today all the... the the priests wear a huge cross, half naked, and they wear a cross. I, mean, they, they, cross, I first thought that it's, you know, I thought they, they're Mamish Mabaz, so I explained, no. The, the, the Ramu says, a cross has nothing to, a cross is a symbol that it's a Vedas Zora. It's not the. Sometimes they have a chest around it. So what? They don't worship it. I asked the, I asked the, the Mexican ones. Mexican one. What? And the church. They just kiss it. So you kiss the mizzahs too, and you kiss the, you know, that doesn't mean anything. They don't worship it. I asked, I asked uh, at once, uh, 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 a guy used to, uh, Jonathan the shul, he used to wear it. He says, no, it's just uh, it's a symbol. It's clear, the Shekhan says it's okay. So they said the Rabbanan, and, and but the reason you know that Beisim is Yain Nesich is a special halacha. Any other is the Rabbanans, you're allowed to do business, you're allowed to sell cheeses, you're allowed to buy cheeses and you know, to give gifts. You know, very often people give in the holidays they give cheese baskets, whatever it's called. You're allowed to give cheese, even though it's not kosher. Uh, every cheese is that way. Well, uh, 
you know, a, again, a secular Jew who comes, it depends. If there are, if there are a, a secular Jew is a Tinnik Shanishba, the Machal Shabbos, if he's a Tinnik Shanishba, that's not a problem. But if he's uh, went off the derech and he eats at your house, I once had a guest, one of the JLE sent us a guest. I usually uh, have girls at home, I don't know how, he was a man, and he ate by us. And he wanted to take wine. He says, Rabbi, I can't take the wine. I says, why can't you take the wine? He says, you know, I was once upon a time from trying to come back. <laughs> he knew that he's not allowed to take the wine. He said, don't worry, I only have Yaim Avushal. Don't worry. But the truth is that if a guy was from and became non from we spoke about it here. There's a problem of, of Bishalakim. So one of, you, one of the people mentioned where he has a family member unfortunately became not from and helped out when the baby was born. It's a problem of Bishalakim. Oh, and Yain Eisach, if it's not Mavush wine. I encourage everyone not to bring, I have sometimes not Mavush wine because people give me gifts and I once got a box of very expensive non Mavush wine. But I make sure that if it's open up, I always just, yeah, we're gonna seal it. So that's the only time I drink a whole bottle of wine, Shabbos. Because, yeah, but I, who's gonna remember? You know, the, more than once, I, I come on, we have once a week a shiksa and Ask my wife, what happened to the wine? Oh, yeah, she forgot. Mm-hmm. Non, non-grape wine, like rice wine. That's not a problem. Oh, it's only wine, wine. Yeah, looking at it <laughs> is, uh, I mean, everyone spoke about this, and I don't know why in Chabad they make such an issue about it. And then it it's based on a Shlua Kudish. Shlokud says that wine that's in a kais and a goy saw it, it's better not to make kiddush on it. Nothing to do with kashas, and it's nothing to do if it's in a bottle. It's only if it's in a kais and, and then it's an Indian, not to make kiddush. That's it. What do you say? Yeah, you can drink it, and he only says it's an Indian. I always tell people, when you make tikkun chatzos, then you can be machma with that too. Wow, yeah. <laughs> shluf stos, I get in bed, you know what I mean? No, don't worry about this. So. I, I know, I know. I, I, people have, I see it all in all the time. Do we, uh, they, no, no, I wouldn't know. It, it, it says in the shlu, the whole because of the shlu says if it's sealed, it's not, if it's closed bottle, it's not a problem. <laughs> Yeah, but once it's in his becha, it's quite a problem. I understand what you're saying. Mm-hmm. You, he was afraid of non-religious people there? So it's in the becha, it's quite a problem. He just says a guy. So did we add non-religious people? And uh, I don't know, but I'm saying, it, the shlu is talking about in the kais. I'll, I'll, I'll look up the shlu. Okay. Okay. Kazuk the Machav the cold of her. Okay, let's move on. I cold of her. I want to say another interesting halacha that uh, you know uh, the rabbi called me up. I don't know, and I forgot all about it. That there's a din you're not allowed to have in your house non-kosher food. So the Ra and the Shaykh Mukhavil has basic said two, three months. The Shah doesn't say that. I don't know what it took. A month or two. Oh, it's, I think two or three. I don't know. I don't know what it means, but but there's a, such a locha. The Khanim is saying this simon, you should not have non kosher food in your house. Now I'll tell you why this is Nagaya. People people have asked me this question from time to time. You know, the Shiksa refuse it wants to have non kosher food. So I said to them, the only way you can have it, if you, know, if you, have, men, if you have a living shiksa, she, it's hazen in her room. But if they just come and she wants to, you know, you want to you know, sh- store, non, you're not supposed to have non-kosher food in your house. What's food? You know what I mean? I, I, wanna, I just want to repeat the story. I want to... Dropping out to the grocery store. Yeah, but that's a different thing else. That's not in a 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, something else. They got a deal on the refrigeration. It's for upstate New York. But I, no, I want to just say something very important about the shiksa. I know, I no matter how often I say it here, I still in Muhammad often I say it in my shoe. It, it always becomes a problem. You know, people, especially in the summer, they go away, they go for a day away, and they and the shiksa stays home. If just if, the most of amazing things is. The shiksa knows you're going to Disneyland. The lady tells the shiksa, you know, pack us up. We're going for a long trip. We're going to be back at night. Make sure supper is done by the time you come home. In the dinner shechan is, all the things in the, all the pots and pans become trefa. And people do it all the time. If you, if you tell, if, if the shiksa doesn't know you're coming in, come in and out unexpectedly, she's not going to cook. But if she, you tell her, which happens every Chalamoit, or just in the summer I watch, the whole family goes on outing, and she knows exactly where guys are going. She's packing up the car. And I watch this. They're packing up the car. And she's going to clean the house while everyone is gone. So she's going to cook. I, I, I've said this story. I want to say this story again over. Three years ago, right after school, a, a teacher from Terry Samus calls me up. And, I, and, and I'm sitting in the coilo, and she the, screams on the phone. You could have thought, uh, who knows what happened? She tells me the sheikhs didn't chap that the school was over because the, she read yesterday went out the same time their errands. Today she left nine o'clock, but she came back eleven o'clock. Normally she comes back twelve o'clock. She teaches from nine to twelve, and she finds her cooking with chaza. Not, not, she had her own chaza and she was frying chaza in her frying pan. So she says, I don't know what I did wrong. I was a yoytze v'nechnes. So, you know what a yoytze v'nechnes means? means you come in and out. And yeah, I told her, yes, yeah, she knows exactly. You leave at quarter to nine, and knows exactly. You come back 12 o'clock. Yeah, that's not what yoytze v'nechnes means. Yeah, she knows that, you know, she know that this is when she teaches. She knew. And, and she, and I, we, we, I remember what I went through. You had to cash all the dishes. It was just. Uh, but she, uh, she, you know, she teaches. She knew after a weeks she leaves with her books, and quarter to nine, and she comes over twelve o'clock. I mean, what more do you need than that? You had to cash the pots and pans and the dishes. Uh, well, she claims she, we played to a make because I don't know, don't ask. I just uh, I looked it up. <laughs> It was a disaster. But I, I, but I tell people, young people today, it's so inexpensive. Put up a cam corner. I said, my own daughter has it. You could see exactly what she does. I mean, that, they went to New York and you know, asked the shiksa to come clean the house. You could see, they put up three of them, exactly what she's doing. She, what she was doing, she was playing on the computer. You know, that's what they call it, you know. Uh, and then you only have to caution the pot that she used. Well, no, if you catch her, no. Yeah. We hope she's not going to do it. Yeah, well, that you should tell her there's a camcorder, so Miris is going to help if you catch it, then you have to catch her that. But the camcorder is to catch her, to, she should be afraid. You know, people have told me worse stories. That they, they, uh, someone told me, Shiksa didn't find the Shiksa cooking, how the camcorder. But you know what he found? She, the baby's crying 20 minutes in the kitchen, in the high chair, and she's uh, busy in the back. So I said, it's, you know, what did you expect? It's not her child. I mean, we, the second your wife comes in, and she knows what time you come in, and make sure the child looks gewaldic and refreshed and washed. And it's not, I mean, it's the shiksa who's raising the child. Okay, so let's move on. Zugim Mechava, Kol Duva, Shusim and Atoyda. Everything on Shusim and Atoyda. Afa Pi, Sh'e Mite Banua, even though it's Mite Banua. Emi Duva, Hami Yuchet, Lemachel. It's made for eating. It has to be made for eating. You allowed to ra- you know, raise horses. And there are people uh, you know, who do it for a business. I have a guy in my shul. Not only, you know, he, he, he invested money and people raise horses. So he says, I don't gamble. I just, uh, it looks like it's a whole business. I'm not familiar. But he told me, he explained to me once. He asked me the shal of Pesach because he has invested money with the people, I forgot the name for it, who raise horses to run. To, to well, so they, they feed the Chomets Pesach. And, and he's the owner. And he's, a, you know, not a small owner, not a stock owner. He's, the, he's a 20% owner of, the, of this, whatever it's called. Is it some of the time to be involved in racehorses? 
How do you know it's Tzabal Chaim? No, no, why, why, is, why is it Tzabal Chaim? I'm just curious, why is it Tzabal Chaim? Why not? Why, 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 man? No, I'm, I'm serious. Do you know, a donkey doesn't. Now, I want to tell you something. A, yeah. I want to tell you something. No, I, I want to tell you one second. A, a, a donkey that carried, when, when you had a good old days, a horse to ride on, every time you got onto the horse, you have to make sure it's a tzedek. I mean, I'm just the lazy to walk, so I'm getting the horse, likes it. What's a tzedek? You're lazy? And, and, and you're lazy. So what happens if I, I make a lot of money? Why, what's, why, why is it? And you're not even running. The guy is doing it. I mean, I don't, I don't have what the... I heard this. I heard this argument, and I don't have People this argument. That runs every day, if they stop running, that's their pain. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm just saying, but it's uh, if you are, you know, if you are doing it, maybe. But it's not. It's 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 a money thing. Anything that you earn money, that in good old days when the donkey slept, you, if you have a schmooze with the donkey, he also doesn't like it. <laughs> he also. <laughs> you ask him. <laughs> That's the truth. No, I mean, he doesn't. You think that he likes it? That's the reality was. Uh, today, it's easy to be belonging to Peter because, you know, you don't have donkeys to know. You know. What's the determination as to what's... is doing for no reason. Just for fun of it, for no reason. They used to, you know, to, to, but if you have a reason, I mean, this horse races, I don't know if it's Saab al it's a, the, Any reason you had, you're allowed to do it. The Gemara says... If a person sells a behemoth gasser to a goy, they made a class and told me he's got to cut the legs off, cut the hoofs of the animal. I, don't, I never understood exactly what animals used. They couldn't work anymore afterwards. But the bottom line is, what? Yeah, I'm just saying that, you know, anything there's a tzalis, there is no tzal b'lachayim. So you're, you're a bullfighter that's going to make money. Yeah, but that's mamish. The, the, no, the, the bullfight is to tzal the animal. That's all there is. It's the yeah, but the, it is made to kill, uh, to, uh, uh, to kill it. It's not his running. It's like schlepping thing. It's made to torture it. I never saw it. People tell me it's mamish made to torture. Right. And, and it's made to torture. And they tease it and they stab it. Whatever. You know that... Uh, you know that... Uh, um, the, you know, the Gemara says, Bechikesem lo yisalechi. So the Gemara says, Terteruas, Kirkesuas. So there's a famous question. How come people go to a sports game? Bechikesem lo yisalechi. The only answer that I heard, I heard from a Litvish writer, well, I gave him a hard time, many, many years, and he's not alive anymore. He said that if you learn the Gemara, the times of the Gemara, he quoted a Ben Yoyna. I never found a Ben Yoyna that way. I looked it up. But he quoted a Ben Yoyna saying, that it's only because the, the Romans, there was also part of their fight was to, you know, they would put the guy to fight with a tiger and put a guy with, you know, his blood and it was... Uh, boxing is, is also that way. I don't know, boxing is... I don't, I don't know how boxing works, but uh, the, the, anything that it makes violent and, you know, brings out the worst out of us. That's what I tell people. Isn't it amazing that people go to a ball game and when the players get into a fight, there's more cheering and screaming than the home run and the goal. Do you know why? Because everyone likes a good fight. You know, we, we also like it. Yeah, we're not going to bloody our hands. Let him bloody the hands. But uh, everyone has the eight Sahara. I would tell people, I tell people that the television has two clippers. Clippers Esau and clippers Yishmo. Esau is violence. Yishmuel is Neif. Neif is lost. Asurat Kavan Neif Yardi Loilam. The Gemara says, Tisha not Ervaim. I always tell people the television show doesn't have these two ingredients. It does not sell. I asked the people, my shul, did you ever watch something that's a documentary? He says, Why should I watch a documentary? I says, Why talk about it? There's no violence and there's no sex. You know, we don't watch pornography. We watch pornography with the Hechshir. You know, raw pornography. <laughs> You know, it's art, then it's okay. You know, but it has to have it, because this is what, unfortunately, all humans are, men and women are attracted to. So this is, that's, that's what it is, violence and, 
and the uh, lust. Okay. So the Mechaba says, again, so he says, if it's Michal Machel is also, like I said, that if it's not made for eating, it's not a problem. Problem call not a problem to raise things that's not made to eating. But then there's another thing. The Rajmas, the Chreinim say, the Aruch HaShulchan brings down, what happens if the food is Nifso Machiles Odom? I don't know if you know that the, uh, the, the, the Machminim didn't want to use soap. Today soap is not made out anyway. In Europe, the soap was made fa- from fat of an animal. So fat, with the Susi allowed to, that's not a problem. Problem was, was made fat from a chaza. So the soap used to use in the fat, fat of a chaza. So Mamela, they held that, you know, I can't, they can't sell soap made out of fat of a chaza, but that's not true because we only not allowed to make business with something that's edible. Once it's not edible, it's not a problem. Food which is, you know, once it became soap and all these mixtures, they used to, whatever it is, it's not an edible thing, then it's not a problem. That's why, I don't know if you know, there's a, a they used to people in Europe not to use certain soaps because it had chazen in it, a chaylev. But the truth is, that's, it's, that doesn't apply because it's, once it's nifsel ma'chilis odom, it's not edible, then it's not chazen anymore. You're not allowed to sell it, you're not allowed to buy You know, the regular toothpaste is crucial to paste of toothpaste. It's just, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's really ridiculous because the, uh, the toothpaste is, uh, they, it's a, it's a, uh, they don't put chomets in the toothpaste. The soap also used to sell a paste of soap. You know, that's, it's a joke. It's a really, really, it's a joke. Okay. Now, uh, 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 let me just, the question, another question that Chorinim asks, what happens if you have a shliach who's doing the business for you? You have a shliach, someone, uh, a shliach, you have a business. Many people, many of the wealthy business people, you know, many who have a bunch of nursing homes, they don't even know what's going on there. They have a person who runs the business in each one. So the question is, does the is what? He's your worker. Yeah, he's your worker. Yeah, but you never see it. You know, there are people have nursing homes they never even visit. They don't even, you know, they just know it's out there and they have the people working there and they're running it for them. So, if, okay, they have to sell out Shabbos, but let's say you have a store, a guy has a chain of stores and they sell, you know, one of his stores is out and they're selling Chaza. So again, it's, it's come out everyone, all the Achorinim hold, even you're not there, and you have a Shliach who's selling it, it's an Issa Dereisa to do business that way. You follow what I'm saying? So if you have a store selling something, let's say a nursing home, if you don't sell it with the Heta Mechira, if you have this, the, the nursing home, even though you're never going to step foot in it, you don't even know where it is, and you don't, and, and even, the, I want to tell you, by the way, even the Balbata, who do know where it is, they never walk into the kitchen, never. You know, this is part of the administrator's work, and they just check the other things. Alpha <coughs> Pican, it is, it's, everyone holds it's us. That's why nursing home has to be sold, not, not only out Shabbos, has to be sold because even though he doesn't, he doesn't deal with the food at all not. You have someone else dealing with it. Yeah, but he doesn't. You don't want him to buy him kosher meat. Yeah, that's just, uh, I told you one guy tried it out. And his father, <laughs> it was a disaster. It's a, it's, it's, it's a, a non kosher meat is a fifth the price of all you're going to get at the yeah, wholesale. Still, the guy's running is like a cobbler or something like that. Doesn't make a difference. All the most, but a hilcha shabbos it works, and here it doesn't work. That's very good what he just said. Even though they, the, the Shulchan Ruchav holds a cobbler is good in hilcha shabbos. But not for this. The scum of all the achreinim is. How do you sell the nursing home to the no farmers? Well, this it doesn't belong to me. I sell it to the guy. It belongs to the guy. I just, I just, sir, I just sir, sold five nursing homes today. And uh, <laughs> it's not and right now. The nursing home doesn't belong to this guy anymore. It belongs to the shiksa. 
and the mikvah. So the, the, she owes, now the, it belongs to her, and she owes the guy, I forgot the number, let's just say $20 million. Just say. So uh, it belongs to her. Legally, Allah belongs to her. So we, we tell her, I'm going to run it for you. We are, no, I have the mortgage on it, I have a lien on it. But you're going to, you know, you know, banks have the same thing. You know, when a guy, you know, the bank comes in, if you, if you know what happened in, in, in the meet by, by, what's his name, by Lubashkin. I, I have a guy who told me his business used to be the banks would send him in into business that were not doing well to take over the business, to see what's going on, and he has the right to decide. It's a whole business. The guy in the valley used to tell me that he was in such a business. I mean, the, you know, they have a right to do it. So it's yours, but I'm running it until you pay me. I want to get paid. And that's right now. It's not. It's not. It's uh, Toyota says it's, it is 100% up here. Look, okay. We've spoken about it once before. I don't want to go to Arichas there. We want to chat before Pesach. We'll talk about it. This was a many thousand years. And I always say they used to sell the pchot, an animal. I always tell this to people because a lot of Bnei Toyota always pulled the nose. So I tell them every person who had a cow would sell the ear of the cow because if you don't, and if the baby is a pchot, you're in major trouble because you can't touch it. You know, abchar. I mean, if the firstborn is a male, can't touch it. So they sell the ear to the goy. Now you tell me, the goy is interested in the ear of the animal. Do you think he ever collected it? You know, what happened to my ear? <laughs> but it's a legal thing. It's his. You don't want to collect it. It's your headache. But it's yours. An animal dies. You want it? I'll call you. And it's all yours. In, in Haluch, it's, it has, it, it's, it's, that's what the Torah says. He's a partner, and he's a partner in Haluch. It's okay. What about turning uh, the Shlip situation around and uh, somebody takes a job working for a goy and, uh, and, and the goy tells them, here, you get, here's your goods to sell today? And that, is, that is a Mechlik Zachreinim. Yeah, he wants to know, are you allowed to pack bags in Ralph's? Correct. Or better, stand behind them, you know, sell the, the delivery. Uh, the, the, to be a delivery truck, it's a big machlik is But the mini, the chayim say the mini was to be makel. It's not mine. All I'm doing is delivering the meat, or all I'm packing bags and ralphs. Is that it's not? If he's a salesman, that's okay. That it's okay. You're not. You're not. Uh, you're just get, getting paid for selling it. You're not. It's not yours. Not sure commission. I have to. I remember something about commission. Yeah, I have to look up at the commission. I think even commission is okay. I'm not sure. I'm going to look it up again. That could be. That has nothing to do with Aloha. That has nothing to do. You, uh, uh, even, uh, uh, even though the goyim look at it this way, it's, uh, but the Torah says it's not. What's the Torah? The question is, is he being dishonest when he's going to the bank now and he's presenting himself as the president? He's not worried about that. <laughs> he's not worried about that. But, but the bottom line is, well, it says in the start that you have a right to run the business until he pays. But Allah doesn't belong to him, it belongs to her. You know, that, that's a separate issue. You know, no. someone asked me, Mamish today, this question. So I quickly say, someone, someone cannot, has credit is terrible, and he wants to buy a house. So someone else offered that, uh, use my credit. Use my credit. I, I explained to him, it's Rebus. So he says, no, 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 I'll put my name on the house. I think he's the father-in-law, I forgot what he told me. I'll put my name onto the house. I says, well, who is going to be the owner of the house? My son-in-law. So I mean, I'll tell you that it belongs to your son-in-law. So you can't be an order for, one day we learn Rebus, you can't be a guarantor for Rebus because it's a whole problem. But even though the name, the deed is on his father-in-law's name, but if you are saying it belongs to you, then it's, then it's a problem. That outright, the, because what we make up, the two of us, that's really what it is. Even though on paper the government looks at it, it's different. But you should never do that. Never put you in a house or anything in anyone's name. Because one day they wake up and they say, I, uh, you, I had someone who refused to sign up. He said, I'm not doing anything. You want me to sign it back over? I'm not signing. I'm not, I'm not doing anything. 
He, may, he says, what was his cheshman? He says to me like this, the guy put the house on my name, and it was 10 years on, on my name, and he ate Shah Yerukas. You know what Shah Yerukas means? He had all the benefit from the programs, unfortunately. And he did it, it wasn't right to do anyways. And I told him, I told the guy, you know why you're in trouble? Because you did an avla. Anyways, and the bottom line is, the guy, he got right, did not want to sign back. He says, if you give me something, I'll sign it. You know, I'm not doing anything. Uh, what do you have kindness to me? You want me to sign it back? I'm not. That's why I never, never do such things. Not could I. Okay. Let's move on. What did you say? Co cosine is a big problem. It's I don't want to go into now. It's too complicated to explain this. I'm, 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 I'm sitting. Yeah, well, because is very hard. But we'll, um, okay, I, I just want to say, now, the, the, the Mu says, is ulav. You know, it's very interesting. In the times of the, of the Trimus Sedation and the Remu, you know, people don't realize and don't appreciate how our business works nowadays. In the good old days, when you went to take a loan, you, the guy demanded a mashkin. It was, you know, you had to give a mashkin. So what happens, I give a loan to a guy, and he's going to give me chazerim. That's a mashkin. So the, 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 the Trimus Sedation has a suffix. And the Remu says, you cannot give a loan and you take a mashkin chazer even though he might pay you the loan. But that's also called facilitating business with the, with the Dover Asa. Not everyone agrees to that. The next, the Mechabah says, Afila, the Remus says, He says, this is very, very important. The Remu has a huge Chumrah. And it means I cannot, people have asked me this. I want to tell you this, what this is, Nagaya. People in construction always tell me they rather go to Burgess King, or the other name, I forgot the, the competition, and buy, and bring it to the workers. Because if I send them out to go to buy, you know, they come back. They come back. <clears throat> so I said, you can't go into Burgess King. So then they asked me, okay, I'm going to send one of the Goyim with my credit card. Well, what about a drive-thru? Well, that doesn't make a difference. drive through the same as walking in. <clears throat> but the question is, can he give his credit card? Give the guy the credit card. So the Lushin Haramu is seems to say, the Ramu seems to say, Vafila Liknois The Maskunas Hachrainam is it's a big, big long taz if you look over here and the shach. The Maskunas Hachrainam is you're allowed to give the guy money to go buy. So you're allowed to give the guy a credit card and tell him go to the store and buy for the other workers a Burgers King, whatever, whatever. You're allowed to do that. There are machmirim, but the skum is achreinim is that you're allowed to. This is very much the gay. What do you say? Because it, the Ramo held, the Ramo held, it's like I'm buying, giving it to them, doing business. Right. But if he's buy, I'm giving him and he's going to buy, you know, you, can, you don't have to go to Burger King. You could go to the from shop, but you know, he likes Burger King. No. They're similar, you're allowed to. No, it doesn't make a difference, but he, he's not, I'm allowed to. You, that's a separate issue. Nothing to do with this. That's a separate issue. Not a sign issue. But, uh, yeah, but we're talking about a, by paying the tab is not a problem. The what? The 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 that's a separate issue. That's a matter of sign. That's that's a separate issue. Okay. I just uh, so anyway. So uh, the, you're allowed to give him the credit card, and, uh, and this is I'm trying to think where this is. Mostly that's in the gay to feed. Uh, okay. Chitz mena chelav. Chelav does not apply to Mechaber says. Chelev is the fat, you know, Chelev is the, you're not allowed to eat Chelev. You know what Chelev is? The, the parts of an animal, which is Isikoris. A few years ago, I get a phone call from Peter Robertson, not from anyone you hear. And a guy tells me it's like Moimer, and the guy speaks to me, and he says, I want to shech the goat. Svardi, I want to shech the goat. Rabbi, <laughs> tell me, 
<laughs> this is a true story. He was going to shech the goat, and he asked me on the telephone, I should tell him how to make melicha, to salt it. <laughs> so I tell him, I'm going to ask you something. Who is going to take the chelev out? He tells me Hebrew, maza chelev. <laughs> maza, you know, it's a, it's a kosher animal. You know, I, I said, yeah, you can't, don't know, shech, and don't. It is, it is the first time I realized that many people have no idea. There's chelev in an animal, which is an isakoris. If you learn the afyomi, I think tomorrow's daf is about it. There's chelev of an animal, which is mamish koris, which is chelev akerev, a mechasas a kroyan. There's a bunch of chol- uh, That, the Torah says a chiddush, ye osa The Torah says you could do whatever you want with it. So for that reason, you could go into the business of, uh, of chelev. You know, to do business with that. Okay, we'll stop over here. Right. Right. It's a very true.